Welcome back, alphas, and welcome new content. Star Citizen 3.5 was a very significant patch, adding the first Mega City Planet, a new flight model, and playable lady characters. And we've got a new level of persistence happening, along with the usual patch updates that we expect each quarter. More fixes, more ships, more gear, and more missions. As expected, big patches bring insidious new bugs that slipped through the PTU phase and made it into the PU build. Some are harmless while others lie in wait to wreck game time for unsuspecting bright-eyed players logging in to check out the most recent quarterly patch. Until these bugs are hot-fixed, here's some tips and tricks I've found to help you enjoy your time even more in the Alpha 3.5 build. So clear comms and listen up. Now, if we really want these bugs to disappear, as backers, we can do two things to help expedite the process. Number one, report them to the Star Citizen Issue Council by filing a quick bug report. I'll put a link down in the description. Number two, keep backing the project and grind up your skill in patience. Until then, here's some bug workarounds for 3.5 and some pro tips to save you some time. If you log in at Olisar and start clipping through the floor and walls as soon as you stand up from your bed, then lie down prone to have your avatar catch the floor and then be able to stand up on solid ground. Otherwise, you're going to float through the station structure like a ghost. And even though we have female playable characters now, it doesn't mean we need any of this going on in the easy haps. If going prone doesn't fix it, exit to menu and then log back in to regain your corporeal self. Unless you're cool with being a ghost in space. And if you log in and you have a blurry screen in first person, you must have logged out or crashed out while your Moby Glass was open. And that's a known issue, guys. So you'll need to simply be sure that your Moby Glass is closed, then log out, and then log back in to fix it. Now, some Habs in Area 18 have no atmosphere. If you don't have a helmet on when you wake up in your bed, the bed bugs will bite. Now that Habs are persistent, you will get the same Hab each respawn, and you'll get caught in a loop. So what you'll need to do then is quickly put on your helmet as soon as you spawn, because by the time you stand up from your bed, you're dead. So what you'll need to do is hit F1, and then line up your cursor to hit the equipment manager, and do that as fast as you can, because otherwise the Moby Glass goes off the screen and you're unable to click that icon. So it might take a few tries like it did here for me, but eventually I was able to ninja that helmet on really quickly, and I was able to live through it. So there is hope if that happens and you get stuck in the loop. Hey, have you tried to mine in the new flight model? Well, if you can't move your ship in mining mode, it's not really a bug, it's just that you cruised up to the minerals and then you scrolled your throttle back to zero before you stopped to try to change modes. So exit mining mode, turn off cruise control, so tap C, and then set your throttle to, I don't know, around 30 or less. That way you can get some precision moves and then go back to mining mode and then WASD will work. Now let's say you're trying to sell ore or some cargo in Area 18 or over in Loreville. It's much faster to land in the hangar, power down your ship, and then backspace suicide over to the Habs than it is to get out, take the elevator, take the bus or train, and then there's a whole lot of waiting in between, right? So it's much faster. Just land, turn off the ship, hold down backspace, bam, you'll wake up in your hab. Make sure you have your helmet on though, right? Oh, and guys, ladders on ships are like T-Rexes. They won't attack you if you are perfectly still. So if you click on a ladder, do not move. Just let the animation sweep you away. Okay, here's one that you will likely thank me for the most of all. Are you ready? Everybody listening? If your game crashes and you hit recovery, like let's say you're mining and you're hovering over some Hephaestonite, your game crashes to desktop, you try to get back in, it says recovery, left racket to accept, yes, take me to my instance, and nothing happens. And you want to flip the table, right? Well, refrain from flipping furniture. Here's why. The game is not broken. They just didn't give you a notification that your server was full. Yes, the server was full. So here's what you do. When you get the left bracket to accept to recover your last instance and you hit it and nothing happens, you're still on the menu, Alt F4, close your game quickly. Relaunch the game 
You'll get the recover last instance option again. Hit left bracket to accept. If you're still sitting on the menu, your server's still full. So Alt F4 again, crash your game out, launch game, go back in, recover last instance, rinse and repeat over and over and over and cross your fingers. But at least now you have hope that you can get back to your mining ship and then get away from that bugged mineral before it crashes you again and save what's in your cargo hold. Or that you might be able to get back to your cargo ship that crashed in the middle of a widow run. So keep hitting left bracket to accept. If it doesn't take you in, just Alt F4 and try again. You've got many attempts before the instance expires, so keep doing it. It's worked for me. You'll eventually, hopefully, find a spot in a server. And if you have to, ask one of your buddies to drop server just for a minute so you can get back to your ship, go sell, and then you can meet them on another server. Oh, and check to make sure that you're subscribed and you've tapped that bell to get notified of new content. Because I have been using Game Glass lately to enhance my experience in Star Citizen, and I've got a review coming out real soon, and you won't want to miss it. I hope that helps you, and if you think that these workaround videos are helpful, and if you'd like to return the favor and help the channel out, please tap that like button and share this to social media or Discord. Let's show your buddies why Left Bracket didn't work that time, and give them hope in 2949 so we can all play. And I'll be looking for you after Avengers Endgame.